Welcome to another episode of Quick Tricks for the MC101. Tobis 1100 asks, is there a way of copying and pasting a step within a sequence, especially with chords in a tone track? The answer is yes, and in this video, I will cover this, plus everything else related to copy and paste, up to version 1.7 of the firmware. This includes copying and pasting a step within a sequence, copying and pasting a pad sound within a drum kit, and the copy and paste menu for clips. First, I'll cover copying and pasting a step within a sequence. To demonstrate, I've created a new project. I select track 2, which is a tone track, and press note to enter chord mode. I then record a chord into the sequencer. Press sequence to view the chord recorded in the step sequencer. Select the step you want to copy, then press shift and FX to copy. Then press the step you want to paste into and press shift and FX to paste the chord into the step. You have to repeat this each time you want to copy and paste. Copy and paste also works for copying pad sounds in drum tracks. On track one, I have a drum kit loaded. I press note to preview the sounds in the drum kit. If I want to copy the sound, I can first press the pad I want to copy and then press shift and FX to copy, then press the pad I want to paste into and then shift and FX again to paste. The copy and paste menu for clips. In clip mode, press shift and FX to enter the copy menu. There are four options for the copy and paste menu. I will go through each of them in turn. Clip all copies both the note data and the sound data. Here, I want to copy the clip in slot one. Into the blank slot in slot nine. Select the clip you want to copy, which is clip one, and press shift and FX to enter the copy menu. Press value to confirm clip all. Here you can scroll to choose which clip you want to copy from on the left and the destination on the right. Here I select clip one and paste it into clip nine. Then press OK. Clip nine is now a copy of clip one. Clip phrase. This copies only the note data. To learn how this works, First, we have to understand that the MC101 has the option to have each clip play from a different preset. Press Shift and Track 1 to view the sound source. Currently, the sound source is set to Track. In this mode, all clips use the same sound preset. You can see that clips 1, 8 and 9 all use the same preset, called EDM Kit 1. If I change the preset to House Kit 1, you can see that all clips have also changed to House Kit 1. And if I change the preset back to EDM Kit 1, you can see that all clips have changed back to EDM Kit 1. I can change this behaviour by changing the sound source from track to clip. Now each clip can have a different preset assigned. So now for clip 9, I can change the sound to a different preset at TR909. You can see that the other clips are still set on EDM kit, but clip 9 is on the TR909 kit. Now, if I just want to copy the note data from clip 8, I can select clip 8, and press Shift FX to enter the copy menu, and then select clip phrase. I can then copy clip 8 into clip 9, and select OK. You can see that clip 9 plays the same pattern as clip 8. But the sound preset remains as TR909. Clip sound. This setting copies over the sound preset, but does not copy over any notes. Continuing from the previous example, you can see that clip 9 has a TR909 and a bass drum pattern. Clip 3 has the EDM kit and a full drum beat programmed in. If I want Clip 9 to be the same sound as the EDM kit in Clip 3, I can press Shift and FX to enter the copy menu. Then select Clip Sound. I can then copy Clip 3 into Clip 9 and press OK. Clip 9 now has the EDM kit 
but the bass drum pattern does not change. Track to clip sound. This setting allows you to copy the track's sound preset into every clip. When you change the track source from track to clip, you may find that some of your presets are reset to the initialized preset. You can see that this has happened in track one. If I go back and change the sound source to track, I can see that the tracks kit is EDM kit one. If I then change back the sound source to clip, you will see that the clip preset has been initialized. If I want to copy the tracks EDM kit one into each of the clips, I can use track to clip sound. Press shift and FX to enter the copy menu. Then select track to clip sound and press OK. You will now see that the preset has now changed to EDM kit one. Note that this will change the preset on all clips. That's it for this video. If you like this video, press like and subscribe for more MC101 content. Please leave a comment if you have any questions on the MC101 and I'll try my best to make a video to answer it. Thanks for watching.